when the strings of the guitar vibrate, they vibrate in many modes of vibration. One mode is where the full length of the string moves back and forth. Other modes, which represent higher harmonics or frequencies of vibration, represent uh, uh, more sinusoidal type shapes where you have node points where there is no vibration. All of these points are marked on the frets of the guitar here. Here's the one half position. This is at, this is at one half of the length of the string. And so on. We have the one half, one third, one fourth, and two fifths. A common effect some guitarists use is what's called harmonics, where they lightly place their finger on the half point of the string in this case, and when they pluck it, it makes the string vibrate at the second harmonic. This is the first harmonic of the string when it's plucked by itself. The second harmonic is twice the frequency, which represents an octave above the original note. If we go now to the one-third position, that would be three times the original frequency. One-fourth is four times the original frequency, which is an octave above the one-half spot. I'll just play that. And finally, the two-fifth position gives you five times the original frequency of the fifth harmonic. The halfway, one-third, one-fourth, and two-fifth positions of the strings mark the, uh, the locations where you can create these harmonic notes. Those are all harmonic tones, or energy multiples of the bass frequency, which is this note. When you put all those notes together, you, that's how you create a chord with a guitar, which gives you a nice sound. These chords are the basis of all music. Another thing you can demonstrate with these markings is often a guitarist will strum up here at this halfway position. That creates a very mellow sound because you're exciting the main mode of vibration of the string, which uh, creates the fundamental frequency. And there's very few high harmonics. You can also strum at this far end of the strings where you're exciting the high frequency vibrations. So you get a more metallic sound. When you strum in the center, where you normally strum, you excite many of the harmonics and you get a nice, rich, full sound.